Hey guys, it's Cora Edwards here, also known as Cora Bell 99 on Instagram. And I'm gonna give you a little basic tutorial for art, the Art Studio app. Uh, and this will basically cover just how to import a photo, um, how to create a new layer, and I am gonna show you how to mask off part of an image. Um, as basic as it sounds, I, I mean, um, I do this with every single composite that I do. Masking, that's probably the biggest thing. Um, so that's what we're going to start with. And this is the final image. This is what it'll look like. I've basically created three layers there. You can see her face. There's three of her face. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to go open the Art Studio app. And this is what you'll see. The top left is the menu button. And this is going to be your best friend. Um, this is where basically every single function of Art Studio is. But we're going to import a photo. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to create a new image. And I'm going to import a photo from my camera roll. There it is. Okay, so I need to add the exact same image as a new layer. So I'm gonna go back to the menu, File, Import, Insert as a layer, Import from Photos, Camera Roll, I'm gonna select the exact same photo. Okay, so there's two layers there and I'm gonna show you um, on the top, so you can click on the little layers palette, and that's going to show you your layers. So you can see I have both photos there. But I'm going to X out of that for now. Okay, so obviously I need to move the top layer over to the left just a little bit. So how to do that is click on menu again, click on edit, and then we're going to choose transform layer. And we just want to move it. So for now, we're just going to select move. And you just kind of hold down your finger, move the photo over just a little bit. Oh, make sure it's centered as much. We can always move it after the fact, but I just want to move it over. Okay. So I'm going to check out my layers again. You can see it's been moved over. And the slider that up here is the opacity, so you can kind of see, you know, there I have two layers, and I'm actually going to lower the opacity of that. And see. I'm going to X out of that. Okay. I think I'm actually going to move it again because it's not centered right. So I'm going to move it again. I want it to be as straight as possible. That looks pretty good. Okay, so see, we've already got two layers. You can see um, that second layer just kind of edges around her face. But now it kind of looks um, skewed and not right. So we need to mask off that top part of that top layer so that it looks somewhat decent. So how to do that is you go to your layers and we want to create a layer mask. Uh, you click on the little square with the circle in it, show all, and you'll get the white box. That is your layer mask. X out of that and then we're going to use a tool. Um, but first, very, very important, since we're masking off the top layer, you want to select on the bottom left, see that little black and white square? You want to long tap on that and you always want to make sure that black, if you're masking off, you want to use a black brush. If you're masking back on, um, you want to use a white brush. So we want to choose black and um, we're going to use the pencil for this. Um, you can select, if you long tap that little pencil icon, you can go in here and edit the brush. You can make it a little more blurry around the edges. 
um, change the opacity and the size of it. Now we're going to start out, I kind of have to make it a little bigger at first, X out of that. And we're going to tap on the photo and you can see, you know, everywhere that I mask it off, it, it takes the photo off. And I'm going to make the brush a little smaller to go in on the face. And if you take two fingers, you can zoom in to get the details. And I need to make the brush way smaller. You just kind of have to tinker with it. I mean, every photo is different. You really have to like adjust. Also, um, if you make a mistake, like, okay, oh, I made a mistake. Uh, you can click that on the top. There's a little back, the two little arrows pointing backwards. Click on that, and all of your problems magically disappear. So, my brush is still way too big. So, I want to zoom way in. Masking, masking, masking is the worst part. It, it, it really is. It is the worst part. Um, unfortunately, they have not invented a magical cropping tool for Art Studio yet. I can't wait until they do. I hope they do someday, but until now you just have to mask off. Until that happens, you just have to do it all yourself. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so there is the second layer. That's what it looks like. Um, now, this is kind of, it's easy from here on out because um, all I have to do now is just copy that second layer. So we go back to layers, make sure you tap on the photo itself, and on the bottom, the two little squares, you're going to click on that, it's going to copy the layer. Ta da! So then, I'm going to X out of there. I'm going to go back to file because I need to move that third layer over to the left a little more to get that layered effect. Um, so I'm going to go to edit, transform, and move again. And I'm going to slide it over. It doesn't have to be a totally crooked. It's totally not perfect, but whatever. Um, I'm going to apply that. Okay, so I kind of want it to f have a fading in effect, so I'm going to drop the opacity of that third layer even more. I'm going to slide it down to like 20%. If you click on the show button, it'll show you what it looks like kind of as you're going. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to zoom in and kind of look at my masking. It's it's clearly not perfect, but um, I think I can get away with it for this particular image. Um, obviously, this is not as intricate as a lot of my composites are. Um, I mean, they take several days to do. Uh, but this one, I just wanted to show you the basic, the basics of masking and everything. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm done with it. I want to save it to my phone so how to save it you have to export it so we go back to the menu click on file export JPEG export to photos done okay so that was our final image